Hey everybody, welcome back to what it is I do, you know, unboxing stuff. Today I'm going to be reviewing this home stream HDMI capture device, uh, 4K, 30, 30 frames per second input, I think. I can't see it because this label's on top of it, but, you know, whatever. We're going to test this guy out and we're going to see what all comes in this package. So let's go ahead and do that and see what this has to offer for those of you who are on a budget and you want to record your Switch, your Xbox, whatever it is you want to do. So why don't we go ahead and do that? So it's by a brand called Icon, or Ican. It's probably Icon. Um, so I don't really know what to tell you to expect, but let's just see what it has to offer. Never know, this could be like a life changer. This could be a game changer, you know what I mean? So all it literally is is it's no bigger than like can I, like, just in case if I want to take it back, I don't want to damage the contents too much, you know? Yeah. That's all it is. Literally just, that's tiny, dude. That is, yeah, I didn't expect it. And it comes in, it's, it's literally screwed on with two small Phillips heads. So it's just a USB and you can plug this, you plug this into your computer and then you output right here. But the better question is by doing that, do you need an HDMI splitter or is it gonna work right off the bat? So let's go ahead and give this a quick test and see what it does. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Oh, another thing, uh, another feature I forgot to mention about this that I do like is whatever, I, I think it's made out of aluminum and it's like, it's all the way around and the way that it's packaged is pretty solid. So it's just, you know, like I said, no bigger than your average like USB drive and plugged in. I would recommend um, make sure you have a 3.0 port. I know there are some people out there with older computers that want to do this. You need a 3.0 port to make this happen. The more power the better. So let's just see what it does on my It might need me to download some software. I'm not actually sure. Connect the HDMI cable from the signal source to the HDMI input, the video capture device. Connect the video and says, um, Streaming software, OBS, Zoom, Skype, and okay, so I just need to pull up OBS. Okay. Or you know what? Let's just check because it might let me do it through. Um, yes, update now. Really? It might see it. Let's see. Microsoft, no, no. microphone, my bad. Video input, audio output, input device. I'm seeing if it's possible. Sharing, update, hotkeys, advanced. No, I don't think it's going to come back. Yeah, I think Elgato is Elgato, basically. Launch it. Yes. Oh, we got to turn my switch on. Okay, it's on, so let's see, we don't need that anymore. Uh, I guess we'll go to here and just try it. It's called, what, what is it called again? Icon. So let's just see, just like capture. Hello! That wasn't supposed to happen. That's my display. That's default. Cancel. Oh, I was wondering when my camera was going to turn itself off. Uh, add, I guess. My bad, I hit display capture. That's not my bad. Video capture device? Uh, we can try. Icon. Ah! Let's see what happens. Oh, hello. That's convenient. Okay, let's see. There's no audio. Someone messaged me. Let's see who it was. Okay, yeah, that was my dad. I thought so. Um, we'll just pull up Fortnite real quick. Actually, no, what we'll do is... I just need something with sound. It's not what I meant to hit. Not, not what I meant to hit. 
And we just need this for sound for a minute. So I can't tell how fast it is, but um. There's no audio from the icon. I'm reading the little instruction uh, pamphlet that it comes with. The Icon Home Streaming Video Capture Device can capture both HDMI video and HDMI audio. Okay, that being said, then connect it, connect it, but it doesn't say computer hardware configurations are required at least as a CPU PC with i5 uh, 3400 or above, uh, NB i7 3537U, 2 gigahertz, I don't know what any of that means, or above, graphics card, PC, and video. Uh, yeah, definitely my my car. I my my uh, graphics card is perfect for this. Um, it it looks like it's coming through perfectly, but I'm not getting any sound. Hold on a second. On the OBS website, uh, somebody says go to settings. It'll probably be cool. No, it'll probably be where's settings now? I I've, I've never. Oh yeah, no, I have. I think I have. I still remember when. Uh, audio. Don't need that sample rate 48. As I already said. Whoa, really? Sure, yes. Why? I'll reset it here in just a minute. Um, it says set your hardware audio speakers or headphones as your monitoring device on the deck and the mixer advanced advanced audio set. Oh, advanced monitoring device. It's under default. Okay, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's see if that works. Because if this works the way that it needs to, this will be perfect. I'm still not hearing any sound. Um. My only other option for this would to be like get one of my cords, get like, but here's the problem. As much as I want to like hook in another um, wire, like I totally could plug in something else, but here's the problem is that as much as I would like to, it's going to give very bad um, ground feedback. So I can't use that. So, um, I'll put, okay, it says this. Okay, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna go to, where was it again? Under here. Where was it? Where the hell? I just had the damn thing. Oh, I'm stupid, there it is. Um, output, streaming, recording. I don't want that as the path. That's if I need it. I never use OBS other than like to stream directly what I'm doing. Um, why not? Let's just let's just let it go through. Let's just let it go through and see what happens. Disable Windows Audio Ducking. Maybe I don't know. I'm still not getting any sound out of this. So after Googling it for a few minutes, <clears throat> this product is so new that there's barely anybody that knows remotely what this thing is. I got it just out of the blue thinking to myself, okay, between this one and the less expensive one, which one is going to have, you know, the better bang for the buck, the more, you know, what's going to be worth the money? And just as I thought, I'm going to be returning this one because it doesn't seem like anybody has any idea how to get this little device to function. For $80, 
I'm honestly disappointed in Icon because I can't get their device to work. Hold on, let's check Amazon. There it is, that's the one I have right there. I think, is it? No, 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 I've, no, I've got this one. It says it can go up to 4K, yet I'm not seeing any reason as to why I can't get audio at all. So between now and tomorrow, by the time I go back up to Micro Center, I want to be able, if I don't get an, if I don't get an answer by the time I'm leaving sometime, I'm taking this back, ASAP. No, yeah, it's, see, it's got, nobody's asked anything. Is this USB 3 also, why is it so much more expensive than the other? Looking one, might look exactly the same. Um, seller, by, uh, by Advantage Video System, seller. Um, All right, so what's the best solution in all of this? Um, just don't buy it. Don't buy this, and I was really hoping to be, you know, I really wanted to, like, surprise people by doing this, and then I was gonna set up this whole thing by tomorrow night, and this whole entire cool track set up in my garage for Mario Kart, use my mom's computer, record some footage, transfer it over to my computer, be like, yes, and obviously that's not gonna happen. So obviously, it's gone back to the store. Anyways, that's literally all I'm going to do for this video. We're going to try another capture card sometime tomorrow. We're going to see how it functions and see if this is worth Because, you know, the, the latency on it, it's fantastic. This is actually relatively fast. I know, I'm playing Fortnite on here when I could play it on my computer. I know that, okay? That's not the point. There it goes. The point is that it shouldn't have any problems. I should be able to just pull this up and it should run automatically. Now I can, I'll do one more thing real quick and I will make sure that it's not the cord and like my, it's not the HDMI cord and it's actually, you know, yeah. So hang on a second. You should be able to hear that on my microphone. That's coming out of my mini TV that I have sitting up on my, um, dresser, whatever, end table, whatever. Uh, yeah, so it's definitely not the, um, it's definitely not my switch and it's definitely not the cord. So it's definitely this little device and I don't know what to do about it. So it's, it's going back in the packaging and I'm returning it. I don't know. It just, it, it might be, it, cause it seems like that's a major fault in the, in the software itself. So it's supposed to be an all-in-one, you know, plug-and-play situation, but hey, is it plugging and playing? No, it's not. All right, so thanks for watching. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and come back for more of my videos anytime you like. Later.